So when I'm doing a strong lip, I really like to throw a little foundation on top of the lips, just like this. And I'll set it with a little bit of powder, just a little bit. So I can create a line very strong. So I'm gonna take a reddish, it's sort of a reddish brown, something very safe in case you mess up with the color of the liner. And what I do is I'll start right around here on her top lip. And I like to go a little fuller. So I'll go slightly above her lip line. And Ashley has pretty lips, but we wanna make the top lip just a little fuller. Now I also have a two option thing. I like doing that. I like doing a little of the liner so I can see, smile. I'm using a reddish brown. So I'm a big mixer when it comes to lipsticks. Now being that Ashley's a blondie and I'm a brunette, I tend to go for more of a, um, a blue red for myself. But with Ashley, I'd like to try an orangey red. So what I would do is I take my palette of colors and I'll mix. Take a little bit of the orange, take a dab of the red. If I can't get the right color, I'll mix them. And now that I mixed my color to try to find a nice color for Ashley, just open up your mouth a little. Start on the bottom. Oh, I think I do like this color. When you're my skin tone, you can do the dark blue reds. When you're Ashley's color, I like to tend to stick to a pink red or an orange red. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to follow and trying to stay inside the line that I created. But that's okay, if I mess up, I will just go right over it again with the lip liner. Make sure you get inside. Go ah. I love saying go ah, I always feel like a dentist and I get really inside there. The red has to be everywhere. So I go inside, on the corners, just like a dentist. Now, if I were to mess up the line, I would take my liner again, just make it nice and clean. And what I'm doing is I'm mixing the liner with the lipstick on the top where I did mess up. And there are the dark, strong lips for a pinup look.